Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with another Loop Cloud tutorial. This one's going to be fairly quick and it's going to be how to use or audition one shots right inside of the Loop Cloud app before you drag and drop them or download them uh, from the Loop Master server. So they've actually added this really cool pattern feature down here inside the player so I can audition say a snare drum where a snare drum should be inside of the Loop Cloud before I download the sample so I can audition all of them in in like a, a good context of the track. So I've just got this kick loaded inside of Ableton. I'm just going to let it play and I'm going to come into Loop Cloud and type in snare, hit enter, and it's going to give me all of my snares. So if I click this one, so I'm going to turn that off for a second. You can see that the auto pattern is just going to give me on every quarter note. But I can come in here and choose some of these other ones. And if you see, we've got four different snare patterns to choose from. So let's check those out while the beat is playing. And remember, Loop Cloud is automatically synced to my BPM. And everything is going to sync up real nice. So let's go ahead and run it. Let's choose snare one. Snare two. Okay, so let's say I like this particular pattern. So what I'm going to do is download this file. Obviously, I can go through and audition these other different snares. In fact, let's do that just so you can see how that would work. It's going to keep the pattern. Okay, let's say I like this snare better. And I wanted to just show you that so you could get an idea. If Even if the track inside of your DAW is still playing, this is going to be synced no matter what, and you can audition all of the different snares until you find the one that you like, and the pattern isn't going to be changed. In fact, none of these settings will change when you start auditioning different one-shots or even different loops. None of these are going to change. Just the sample is going to change and keep all of these parameters. So now I'm going to go ahead and download the file downloaded and I can drag just the original inside of my project now there it is or I can drag the processed pattern so here I have the pattern that I had inside of loop cloud inside of its own sample now and I don't have to do anything and any any changes I made up here are going to be the processed file is going to be the, the file that I drag and drop into the DAW if I just want the original file as is the high quality original I just drag and drop that original but that's going to work the same way for anything let's check out maybe hi-hats let's type in hat and I'm going to come in here and delete this and now that this is there and it's already ready to loop All right, drop back in here and let's see, make sure we're content type one shot sweet and let's just check out something rhythm or something. Let's see what this is. And now look at. So anyway, that's how you get started working with one shots inside of Loop Cloud. It's very, very helpful when you're auditioning different snares or hi-hats or even synth one shot. When you can do it inside of Loop Cloud and use these patterns to get the idea of how it's going to sound inside of your track and then drag and drop either the processed version with the pattern or that original and then start doing the work inside of your DAW. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.